I can see it, but I'm doing my best. And it resonated with me today on a message found in the book of Romans, chapter 12, starting at verse number 9. Amen. And that, 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 that kind of hit me because we are in a plant shutdown, but there's so much to do even when production isn't going on. I always have the mentality when I walk through those doors that no matter what comes my way, I'm going to do my best. Even if it's not the outcome that I want, I know that when I get in my traverse and drive down some of these that I have done my best. Amen. So in the book of Romans, chapter 12, starting at verse 9, we will read. So if you have it, say, I found that. And if you still look and say, just one minute. Amen. Chapter 12 of the book of Romans, starting at verse 9, says, Let love be without dissimulation. <clears throat> Abhor that which is evil. Cling to that which is good. Be kindly. Amen. Affectionate one to another with what? Brotherly love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And honor preferring one another. Yeah. Not slowful in business, fervent in spirit, yeah. serving the Lord. Verse 12 says, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. 13 through 16 says, distributing to the necessity of saints given to hospitality. Bless them, oh, which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that you rejoice and weep or mourn with them that weep. Be of the same mind. I'll read that one again. Be of the same mind, one toward another. Mind, not high things, but condescend to men of lowest. Be not wise in your own conceits. Let us use for brief thought today. Simply, I'm doing my best. Doing my best. Let us pray. Almighty God, again we come. Thanking you, Father God, for this opportunity. What a great one it is to preach your word. I thank you for this congregation. I thank you for all the congregants that are watching via live stream. Thank you, O oh God, that you have blessed them to watch all the way from Nairobi. We thank you, Father God, for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us. The rising of the sun, the going down of the sand, you are still our God. So I pray, O oh God, that you would preach to me as I preach to your people. Teach them, O oh God, that through your word we have taught. I pray, O oh God, that you would watch over us, cover us, and protect us as we try to journey through your word. Help today, Father God, open and perfect their fear with our precious only ghost. Forgive us, O oh God, for we know we have sinned and come short of our Lord's glory. And we just want to pause to say thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. And in his name we pray and thank you for all of it. And all of us should say amen. 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 God bless you. You may be seated. Amen. Let's see if we can get this done in a few minutes. Amen. Here, my brothers and sisters, once again, you know, I like the writings of Paul. He just happened to be talking to the Romans today. In Rome, we had Greeks, we had Jews, we had Gentiles. 
problems we had on all of them then. And God found it necessary. He sent Paul. Amen. With a word to Rome. And in this book of writing, we find where he says, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies, amen, of God. Remember he said that? He told us how we should present ourselves as a living sacrifice. He told us that that was the least that we could do. Amen. And when he said least, that means that it is mandatory that we at least present our lives unto God. Because he said that's a reasonable service. Amen. If you don't do anything else, at least, amen, do that. Yeah. He, he told us in the Amen. To the ways of this world. Amen. In other words, we can't just follow everything uh, that the world does. Uh, there has to be a differentiation, a, differ a difference, amen, between us and them. Amen. There has to be some way, folks, to know that we are godly, that we are children of God. So he said, don't conform, amen, to everything. If it's wrong, Treat it as wrong. Yes. Amen. If it's right, treat it as right. But don't go with the flow just to be with the status quo. Amen. We must be willing to take the flag of man when we refuse to walk in the darkness. That's, that, that, that's, what, that's what he said. And he also said, now, now I'm not trying to browbeat you, but I'm trying to present you with the grace of God. And in that grace is also exhortation or teaching in the right way. And I applaud Paul for that because he was already getting heat from every side because he was simply trying to preach practical doctrine. Amen. And that's what I try to do every Sunday and every and Wednesday in our Bible study is to preach practical doctrine. Not all folks here, not trying to use big words. But kindergarten terms that even I can understand. Because God, at the end of the day, is not happy about the words you use, but the lives you have touched. Are y'all walking with me? So we have to be mindful, we have to be careful, amen, when we energy and we share the word of God that is not for our own uprising, but it's for the uprising of the word of God in this temple. Steve! 
Just a little bit. He said, now, not so in business. 
spirit. He even lets them know, folks, we cannot be lazy in season and out of season. You ever seen that person that have all of these desires? Their hopes and dreams are way up here, but they are too comfortable to get off the couch and in front of the television. They want money, but don't want to work for it. And I'm about to get somebody ready. Thank <laughs> you. 
it need to be better than me. And that's all right, because God says, if you want to be a part of a household, then you must go the other to the ones that don't have the future. You can't just treat folks because you have one chance. Yeah. 
Just remember, he came from me here, church. Amen. All this ground, right here, this grass. Amen. This church, this edifice. Amen. God bless you. Walk you, sir. Please support him. Amen. Amen. Everybody say.